What's happening guys? Welcome to another Thai Kicks vlog for this week and this week we're going to be talking about Yeezy resale and which Yeezy, if you were going to pay resale, is the one to go for. When we get back we're going to be talking V1s versus V2, Yeezy 350 boost, which one's worth that kind of money. We're going to go through what I've been up to for the last week in two minutes. Let's go through it. I went and drank some coffee. So I want to take you to one of my regular hangouts. One of the best coffee houses was called Coffee Architects. If you ever come to Lem, come and check it out. I hit the gym for the first time in four months. I did some wedding hair this week and the fortunate side effect was that I missed the Yeezy V2 drop. I went shopping in Leicester with my mum and little Louie. And finally, I went to a baby show. So finally, for the first time, my other half has decided she needs some new gym kicks. And for Valentine's Day, I boosted my bag. She's finally got herself a pair of Ultra Boosts and I'm gonna show you what they look like. They're pretty sick and I got them for a pretty awesome deal as well, so. So I managed to pick her up a pair of Ultra Boosts, like I said, and this is the colorway. I managed to get the purple and black colorway in the 2.0s for an absolute steal. You can see the color has got like black and different kind of tones of purple running through it all. You know, it's kind of sort of smudged and peppered all the way through and then these quite sort of bright kind of purple pink accents and also like that purple going through the heel counter. This is a six shoe for a cracking steel price and she is officially boosted. <laughs> So with it being Yeezy season and we've already had the V2 breads come out on the 11th of February, we are now going to look forward to the Zebra V2 350s coming out on the 25th of Jan. So what I thought I would do, which I thought might be quite interesting, is we know someone or we have been involved in taking a failure, taking what they call is l when it comes to getting shoes now yeezys is the biggest one that people want to get hold of resale on yeezys is huge and everyone either wants to get a pair for themselves or get multiple pairs to sell this guide is for the buyers this guide is for you guys out there who want to pick up yeezys and you missed out on retail and i'm going to go through step by step two different ways of deciding what yeezy to pick at resale so we're only going to be talking about the 350 boost they are the two 
versions of shoes that I'm gonna get into in this video. And we're gonna go through a couple of different deciding points. So there are two different types of Yeezys. You have the V1s and you have the V2s. Now we're gonna go through a couple of reasons to buy one or the other. So let's start off with so with the looks. V1s look a lot different. They have the they have the very subtle pattern. These are the pirate blacks, and they've got the pattern running from front to back. It had stitching through the center, a suede kind of half circle going through the inside of the shoe, and now the well-known trademark heel tab. The soles are painted soles with the Adidas Boost going through the inside of the sole. Now, moving on to a V2. This is a V2 style. The early V2s, this, the Black Friday pack of the red, copper and green, all came in the same kind of style. They were heel tagless and all have um, this pattern running through it. Obviously a lot more, um, showy on the beluga this is the beluga colorway and you can see this pattern running through it but even on like the oreos on the white and black ones and on the red and black ones you can see this pattern on it and the sole isn't painted the sole is a little bit more translucent and a little bit more sort of denser plastic on that sole you've got boost running through the inside of this shoe as well as you can see i wear my shoes and um, the prime knit is a little bit thicker. It's not as stretchy as it is on the V1s and um, has a lot more structure to the actual overall interior of this shoe. Uh, it's a little bit more sturdy and you've got a little bit more upgraded padding on the inside of the V2. Decisions to make when it comes to picking which one, if either, at a resale price. Pros for the V1. The V1s, are the original OG always seem to be best they have a very clean very simplistic look and I really like the v1s I've always liked the v1s the negatives with the v1s the soles are painted the sole paint does come away quite quickly making the shoe look a little bit more worn a lot faster particularly on the sole the sole paint is notorious for cracking and has been since the release of the V1s. So be aware that that paint could start to crack on you. And padding got improved after the, uh, the Pirate Black 2.0s arrived, but padding was a problem and a lot of people did find that after a while they could rub the back of your heel. It doesn't happen for everyone. I do like the heel tab on it, that was very cool as well. So, you know, they're the pros for the V1s and the cons of the V1s. Pros of the V2s are, they are more of a plastic, a thick plastic, I may add, that has a lot more durability. The prime knit is a lot denser and thicker and maybe in one regard, maybe not as comfortable because it's not as stretchy. It's not like the NMD kind of prime knit but in turn, I think it keeps its shape a lot better. So that's one pro for that. And the padding is a lot more improved. You do have a lot of boost in the sole as well. And I personally think that the V2s are more comfortable. So what do I decide? V1s or V2s? What would you choose if you had to pay resale? The biggest deciding factor is price. We all know that the Yeezy V2s and the V1s all retailed at £150 or in the US $220 in dollars. But when they're sold out and you take an L and you miss out on those shoes, the market value is not dictated, may I add, by the seller. It's dictated by the market. So the market says, for instance, that this Beluga is worth 500 pounds and you come across a seller who's trying to sell you this beluga at 600 pounds 
the likelihood is you may have a bit of wiggle room. What I would do is I would have a look as far across the web and different sites like Depop, uh, eBay, Gumtree, uh, the groups on Facebook like Yeezy Talk Worldwide and have a look at what the rough average is for the Yeezy you are looking for. And then it's up to you. If you're gonna stick with the seller that you originally spoke to and you're gonna try and bring them down a little bit, you can, or go to somebody else who's offering a better deal. That's totally up to you. But what I would say, which is really, really important, is you have to make sure they're legitimate. If they're not legit, you could end up with a pair of shoes that cost you an absolute fortune and you've just lost so much money because they're almost worthless. Always buy from trusted sellers. I'll place in the description below a couple of trusted sellers that I approve of personally and I know for a fact that they have the authentic stuff. You wanna 100% make sure that what you have is the real McCoy with the amount of Chinese reps that are out there. So on final thought, what I would turn around and say is, if you're gonna make a decision, is the decision on looks or is it on durability? If you're gonna pay 400 plus pounds on a pair of shoes, if not more, with the way that the uh, Zebra V2s are coming, they're looking like they're gonna be even higher. The breads, they're gonna only go up and they now, both those shoes will come with the heel tab to give it a little bit of a difference with the V2 but you have to decide, do you wanna spend a lot of money on something for a look, or are you gonna spend a lot of money on something that has a lot more durability? For me, personally, I think the V1 looks the best shoe. If I was gonna invest over four, five, 600 pounds, it's the V2 all day long. The V2 has so much more uh, durability and it has so much cushioning in the boost. I feel like there's more boost in this shoe. There's more cushioning in this shoe. And you know, you, you've you got a very obvious Yeezy on your feet. You can't go wrong with a V2. V1s are beautiful and I love the V1, but resale wise, the V2 for me has to be the one to go for personally because I think it's more durable. Write all your comments in the section below. I really wanna know what you think about resale and about which one you would choose out of the V1 or V2. And I hope that my guide has helped you to decide whether if you're gonna buy a Yeezy at resale price, those factors hopefully are gonna help you make that choice the right choice. I hope you enjoyed the vlog for this week. This has been Ty Kicks Vlogs for another week. I'm gonna see you again next Tuesday. Keep your eyes peeled for when my vlog will drop and see you soon. Ooh.